Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is Tariel Sultan. For the longest time, I always wonder how to send out a massive personalized email or dynamically updated email with a Google Sheet. And sure enough, here is a perfect solution called a Mail Meteor. And make sure you stick to the end of this video so you won't miss any tips, tricks, and nuggets I mentioned along the way for sending massive email cold outreach. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here's Mail Media app. It's basically an add-on for Google Sheets that allows you to connect to your Gmail or G Suite or they call it Workspace now. Here's a free plan. You can run 75 emails per day versus the premium plan. You can unlock a whole bunch of features. You can send it up to 2,000 emails a day. Mail Media right now is on AppSumo lifetime deal. Make sure you check this out. This is a one-time payment. You own this app for life. So you don't lock into a month-to-month -month subscription program. Scroll down a little bit. You can see for $99, you get to own the premium plan for life and you send it up to 2000 email free with a Gmail. You can send 500 emails a day and a whole bunch of autopilots and campaign features. I'm going to get through it in this entire video and scroll down a little bit further. I found a few more utilities. You can use it sending newsletter. If you want to, you can do email cold outreach. This is the number one app I'm going to stick to in terms of email cold outreach, because if you watch my previous video, I already have an app to do massive Google Maps scraping. So it's called Out Scraper. Make sure you check out that video because that is going to populate a whole bunch of local businesses email based on niche and industry. So I can use Mail Media to start sending out these emails and you can do link building, PR management, right? A lot of people do events, invitation, if you do family, wedding and so forth. And here a little bit further, school colleagues, maybe your teacher, you want to notify students, you put them on a Google Sheets and start sending them emails. Maybe it's holiday you want to send out a greeting email to all your families and friends and then job hunting and automation and so forth. There's a whole bunch of utility. Sky is the limit. You just need to be very creative here. So once you have a media account, this is their account interface. On the left hand side, we have templates and contacts. I'm going to compose a template with you guys together. And the last option here is account and billing because I'm using Google Workspace or Google G Suite is what they used to call it. So that means I get to send out 2000 email a day. And now what we're going to do is let's create a template. You can see I have a sticky note open here. Here is a template. Let's click on new template. So for subject line, I'm going to say hi, first name and check this out. And here's the template I just deployed. There's going to be three spots dynamically updating themselves. First one is their subject line, first name here, right? Second thing here is a high first name. That's the second spot. Third spot here is a company name at the end. A quick tip here. If you come to Mail Media homepage, scroll all the way down, you're going to find a whole bunch of resources. There is a comparison between the apps. There is a deliverable tips. Just quickly want to review these with you guys because this is a good time to quickly go through these ones. So first of all, you want to warm up with your Gmail. You don't want to send out a generic email to a whole bunch of people within a short window of time. That's going to get your email marked as a spam. So always warm up your Gmail account. And second tip here is to collect responses and reply back. Third tip here is to personalize your email. You can see here, right? My email template has dynamically updated itself. You can see subject line and email body. So this way, Google thinks you're sending out unique email instead of a generic email all over again and write like a human and then give your account profile a picture that is super helpful. Sometimes it is more like a personal touch and you can always track the open rate and click through rate. This is one of the coolest feature Mail Media has to offer, which you can track the open and click through rate. Number seven, to make sure your email addresses are validated and cleaned up because not every email can go through. There's some hard bounds, there's soft bounds. If you don't know how to do so on this channel, I cover lots of different apps that help you to validate the email as a batch or CSV if you want to. Make sure to check out these videos. I'm going to leave in the description below. And number eight is at the bottom. We're going to add an unsubscribe me button here. Sometimes you get pissed off. I do. If you receive a cold email outreach and there's no way you can basically unsubscribe them and they keep sending you every couple days, right? That's really annoying. Personally, I will add this option at the bottom. On the right hand side, I open their knowledge base. So what we want to do is copy this very and it'll come to here. You can see click here to unsubscribe. This is just plain words and you want to insert a link and the link to is unsubscribe. Click on OK and that's it. You see when every time when you send out an email now, there is an option for them 
to unsubscribe. And the number nine is to make sure your messages are authentic. You don't want to send a whole bunch of spam. Basically, you want to have a good intention. You know what I mean? Number 10, avoid sending too many emails at once. I'm going to leave this blocked link in the description. You guys can go check it out. Pretty cool part here is that they also allow you to insert an image. And in this email, I want to insert one more link because I want to show you guys how click through rate shows on the Google Sheets. So we want to make sure we have at least one link in this email. Don't leave this link blank like this. It won't work. You have to select this link and click on this link option. You want to link to this domain, click on OK. Now that becomes a trackable link. So when everything is done, click on save email template and that's it. This is super simple. You compose your email template with your web interface and now we're switching to Google Sheets. And now let's fire up our Google Sheets. The first thing we want to do is come to extension. We want to click on add on and get an add on. In the search box, just type in mail media. It's the very first one. You just want to give it a click and click on install. Once you everything installed, click on extension. You can see mail media has been installed right here. And now let's open a mail media app inside of Google Sheets. You definitely want to check this option, which is to be able to track email open rate and click through rate and an email template you can see, right? Earlier we created a template remember called high first name. So what we want to do here is to manage this template and then we want to edit this template in the Google sheet. As a test, I put three different columns. First one is a company name. Second one is a first name. Maybe this is the business owner or the staff name. And the third one is an email. So three different criteria. As long as you have the header, mail media will automatically detect the headers. For example, I'm going to remove this first name, insert variable, click on it. You can see automatically detected these three headers, right? In here, I'm to choose first name and do a comma. I just want you to make sure this is a correct variable. And then towards the bottom, remember here is a company name. Click on variable, click on company. I'm going to copy this first name and I want to paste it right there and then do a comma. Hi, first name, check this out. That's it, right? And now save template. What I did here is preloaded a few samples. The emails are real emails. These are my personal emails. I want to make sure these emails are deliverable and I can show you guys how it looks like from the receiver end. And for the first name, these are sample names. Another quick tip here is that in my previous video, I have another tutorial on how to scrape data on Google Maps. If you script everything correctly, this will be how it looks like. And here's the public data of all the businesses. Towards the middle here, I have all their email address pulled. And the most important here is I want to filter all their email to make sure they are receiving, not invalid. Invalid ones are basically hard bounce. It won't even go through. And you can see here, right? Mail meter is a perfect tool for this situation that I want to do email outreach. And not only that, look at how many variables I can compose an email, including their reviews, including how many photos they have, their location. The email can be super, super customized, right? Once you load up all the email, first name and company, click on extension one more time and let's open mail media. Before we actually trigger everything, you always want to make sure you can preview the email. Let's click on preview. You can see, right? First one is a Tariel and the company is Tesla. You can see Tariel is being inserted there. The first name here, Tariel, is in the subject line too. If I scroll down, it definitely should tell me Tesla here because it pulled from the second row here, company is Tesla. Tesla, right? What I really like is this app is simple. It's not complicated. There's no coding. There's no API and all that fancy stuff. Really appreciate the ingenuity and the well thought behind this app. Before you actually trigger it, you can receive a test email. We're not going to send the email yet. Look at what happens when I click on this drop down option. There is three more options here. First one is called autopilot. This is a really cool feature because companies don't open Saturday, Sunday. So I want to give them a break. Only trigger emails between Monday to Friday, maybe not even Friday, Monday to Thursday, 9 a.m. in the morning till 5 p.m. I can do a maximum email per day and a delay in between. You want to calculate it a little bit if you want to send out 1000 email in five days. That's basically 200 email a day, right? And store sending I can do right now, tomorrow or next week. Let's click on that drop down one more time. You can see second option says schedule sent. For example, if you want to send out holiday greetings and you only want to trigger on December 24th or 25th, this is the perfect option to do so. And I can do December 24th. This email will be triggered on that specific date. And let's click on the drop down one more time. And this is the most important feature is called a follow up. The first sequence is this email we're going to send out, right? If there's no reply or no click or no open, or in any case, after this many days or this
this many hours or this many minutes. And then you want to select another template. You can do a follow up, basically create a whole bunch of templates, day one, day two, day three, and you can trigger them accordingly. And now look at what happens. I can add a next step. Let's say after the second email, two days later, if this person didn't even open this email, then let's trigger this template one more time. And this is how you're able to do follow up. In the preview, let's quickly click on the right arrow. You can see John, hi John. If I do it again, hi Sam. If I do it again, hi Michael. It's basically go through them one by one. So we're basically all set. Now look at what happens when I click on send emails. You can see immediately it opened up a new column it says merge status. And let's click on open tracking reports. You can see currently we're sending these emails, mail meter is scheduling this campaign. Since everything is all set, there's no worry, no concern. Let's grab some coffee, grab some drinks, sit back, relax, and let's see what happens. A few moments later, all emails have been sent. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of the emails and I click on one of the links. I want to show you guys how the merge status will be dynamically updated. You can see I just opened this very first email. Look at what the merge status has been updated here. It's fascinating. And you can see open rate one out of five email that's opened. And now look at what happens if I click on this link once. So the link has been opened here. And then let's close this tab. You can see email clicked with this updated, the report will be updated as well. You can see click through rate right now is 20%. So what I did here is I opened all the emails individually and I clicked on one email. That's it. So you can see right now open rate is 100%. Click through rate is at 20. And let's switch back to mail media campaign. You want to select this name right here. Click on it once. You can see here is a status of showing you how many emails sent, how many email opened, and how many email clicked. And it also shows you the recent activity of all the events that's being opened and clicked. In the action steps, you can either rename this campaign or you can cancel this campaign in case it's still sending and triggering the emails. That is a wrap up of this entire video. And now questions back to you. What do you think about Mail Meteor? Is this something you'll be using in your own operation? And what will you be using it for? Drop some comments below. I'd love to give them a read. If you're seriously considering this app, make sure you check out the lifetime deal on AppSumo because that's going to be gone very soon. This is Tori Sultan signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.